the Sea Islands of South Carolina. It's a region of the state that offers so much to see and do. Whether it's cultural, historical, or recreational opportunities, you'll find it in this unique part of South Carolina, including some of the best golf you can play anywhere in the U.S., including our course of the week, the Arthur Hills Design Morgan River Course at Dato Island. Morgan River course was designed by Arthur Hills and open for play back in 1989. It is the second of two layouts here at Dato Island. The first, the Tom Fazio designed Cotton Dyke course. Can't overpower this golf course at all. You need to be very precise. You're not gonna find a lot of fairway bunkers off the tee here on Morgan River. But what Arthur Hills likes to do is create undulation throughout the entire fairway. You may have an uneven lie coming into the green even though you hit it down the middle. To score out here, you definitely need to take advantage of the par fives. If you're a longer hitter, the par fives on the front nine are, are a lot shorter. Um, and plus you need to score on the front nine here at Morgan River. Once you get into the back nine, you're going into two par threes in a row, 15 and 16 that are very long and very testing, and a long par five, and then our number one handicap on number 18. So once you get through number 14, you need to, you need to buckle down and, and try to make par the rest of the way. The Morgan River course offers five primary sets of tee. So if you take it all the way back to the tips, you're looking at a layout that stretches out to 6657 and features a course rating of 72.7 and a slope of 142. Moving it up a set of tees and you've got a layout that plays to just about 6200 yards. And for the ladies, Morgan River plays to 4352. So it's not a long golf course. Hit it in the fairway, get your wood shots down into the greens, and, and try to set yourself up with an uphill putt on these undulated greens. And because of the close proximity to the Atlantic and nearby waterways, wind does come into play throughout this entire golf course. It swirls a lot here. You know, we're right here, we're on number 14. We're on the river. Um, it's either gonna be dead into the wind or, or downwind. And while most of what Arthur Hills created some 30 odd years ago remains intact, just recently, this golf course went through a renovation, including adding a new forward tee on every hole that significantly shortens up this layout. And what our goal was, was to make sure that everybody is playing the golf course the same way. Um, if, you're a, if you're only hitting 120 yards off the tee, it should put, that hole should play the same as someone that hits it 280 yards off the tee. With that project, Billy Fuller came in. He also mellowed out some, a few major undulations on the fairway to help with mowing and everything. Um, we added a couple bunkers on Morgan River number seven to kind of spruce up the hole a little bit. 
Dato Island, a private golf course community in the low country of South Carolina, where members enjoy 36 holes of world-class golf designed by Tom Fazio and Arthur Hills. That's what's so great about being here at Dato. You have two fantastic golf courses designed by, by two different designers. Uh, Fazio designed uh, Cotton Dyke, so you know, one day you're playing Cotton Dyke and then you, the next day you go to Ar Arthur Hills, Morgan River, and you feel like you're playing a completely different golf course. And that's what's the beauty of being here at Dotto with the 36 holes that we have. I'm Mindy B from Fit for Golf, Fit for Life, and we're here at the beautiful Porter's Neck Country Club in Wilmington, North Carolina. You know, it's really difficult to start working on your swing through impact and getting the power whenever you've got the club head, the hands, and the arms overpowering a lot of what the body should be doing. So today I'm going to show you an exercise called Thrust Through Impact that is actually from the Tathada Golf System. So you're going to get rid of your club, take that variable of the club right out of the way, and we're gonna use the body. So I want you to go ahead and get in golf stance, a very strong golf stance. And this is something you can do on the range, in your home, every single day to help train that body onto what to feel during impact. You're gonna take your hands right underneath your arms. You're gonna pull down so you're feeling the pressure into the ground. Take a couple deep breaths. Feel yourself loading into the knees a little bit, sitting back into your glutes. And just think about, this is impact. You want to be level through impact. This is your impact. This is what your knees are doing. The knees are kind of surfing towards your target over there. But then you've got to really kind of get the rest of the body flowing with it so that you're not losing any power. So thrust through impact looks like this. You're going to come back just a little bit to load, and you're going to keep looking down at your golf ball. Ready? Three in a row. Thrust through impact, just like that. Now, watch my body right here. I'm lifting up my chest, squeezing my glute, almost cramping my hamstring. Oh, my, my calf is on fire, and it's getting used to this very strong finished position. Again, everything moving together, momentum, power, thrust, th for, uh, through the impact. One more time. Inhale. And let's try it one more time. And thrust, hold. Feel how the arms can do whatever they want to without the club in, but the body is very, very strong. Feeling that connection between your legs. Okay, that is thrust through impact. It helps you teach the body what to do before you start bringing the variables of the arms, the hands, and the club face into your swing. That's TathataGolf.com, but you can also find more exercises from me at FitForGolfUSA.com. We're at Dato Island this week, home to two incredible layouts, the Tom Fazio Design Cotton Dye Course, and our course of the week, the Arthur Hills Design Morgan River Course. And about nine miles west of here is Beaufort, South Carolina. Now, Beaufort is the second oldest city in the state. It's also a low country gem that's been welcoming visitors since 1512. Beaufort, South Carolina, a low country gem. It's tucked away on Port Royal Island, one of the state's coastal sea islands. Beaufort is known for its antebellum mansions, especially in historic downtown. The history of Beaufort, South Carolina is one of the most comprehensive and diverse of any community of its size in the U.S. The area in and around Beaufort has been subject to numerous European explorations and several aborted attempts to colonize it. 
before the British successfully founded the city in 1711. After Charleston, Beaufort is the second oldest city in the Palmetto State. And after numerous attacks from Native Americans and slow economic growth, Beaufort began to flourish as the center of the region's plantation economy up through the Civil War. All thanks to Carolina Gold Rice and Sea Island Cotton. From 1893 up through 1945, a series of events including a hurricane and boll weevil infestation chased many of its residents away, making the city one of the poorest in the state. Well, today, Beaufort is recognized as one of the most livable small towns in the country. Retaining much of its historic character thanks to its low country friendliness, antebellum architecture, exquisite local cuisine, and rich African-American heritage. You know, the one thing I love about the Morgan River course is the great mix of long and short par fours. Here at number five, the shortest of them all, it plays to 328 yards from the back tee. So you would think you could post a good score here. Again, as we talked about it earlier, it's finding that right spot in the fairway here at Morgan River that will allow you to post a good score. Hole number five on the Morgan River course is a short par four. For the long hitters, some may think they can reach the green off the tee. But really, that's not the route you want to take. A lot of obstacles on that, on that golf hole. Uh, you have houses and out of bounds lined on the left side. Off the tee, you have water on the right. So if you're playing all the way back, you'll have to carry the H2O. So you have water off the tee, water by the green. So you have a little landing zone, about 40 yards that you need to hit on, off from, from off the tee. Your approach shot is into a very undulated green. There's a spine that runs right in the middle of the green from right to left. So the front part of that green is sloped from front to, to that middle part, and from the middle spine, it's, it's sloping back towards the back of the green. Pick the right spot on the green in relation to where the flag is at, and you could be looking at a fairly easy birdie putt. Very scorable hole depending on the pin location. If the pin is front left, you can hit a nice wedge, in, wedge into there over the bunker and spin it back. I'm Chris Fern, Director of Golf at Dalto Island Club. We're sitting here in a greenside bunker on Morgan River number 14. Today what we're going to talk about is impact into the golf ball on a greenside bunker. So what I like to do with a lot of my members and amateurs is do the line drill. Line drill will tell you when you're practicing at home, at your home club, where your, in, your, where your club face is coming into impact. The number one issue that we see with amateurs is they like to transfer their weight to the right side in the green side bunker. And what this causes is for that club to drop and hit way too far behind the golf ball. So we're gonna adjust, we're gonna put a, about 80% of our weight on our left side and we're gonna keep it there throughout the entire swing. We're gonna, we're gonna try to enter into where, this, where that line is. So when you're practicing at home, at your home club, you can draw this line two inches behind the ball. And I want you to try to get in between that line and the golf ball. And the ball will pop out. Now I hit a little bit behind that line, so that's why it was a little heavy. So we're gonna try to adjust to that and get closer to that line. So hopefully this line drill will help you uh, hit better golf shots out of a greenside bunker. Both golf courses here at Dato create a golfing experience the members enjoy day in and day out. Then add in all the other amenities and you can see why Dato is a place one would consider relocating to. And on top of that, Dato is steeped in history and tradition. <laughs> About nine miles or so east of Beaufort, South Carolina, is a place steeped in history, Dataw Island. 
From the earliest settlers to those who occupied the island leading up to the Civil War, Dataw provided wealth through indigo and Sea Island cotton. And while the history of the island remains prevalent today, the current lot of residents on Dataw enjoy a lifestyle and wealth of recreational activities the island lends itself to. And what that really means is we're basically a playground. Just about everything you could look for to keep you entertained. We've got, of course, the two golf courses complemented by hard true tennis courts, brand new pickleball courts, croquet lawns that are unparalleled in the region as well as um, other sports and activities like bocce ball. We have a free library, community gardens, butterfly gardens, and a whole host of social clubs and activities. And when it comes to aquatics, few private clubs can match what Dato has to offer. The club offers both a resort style outdoor pool facility, as well as an indoor lap pool and hot tub. And if you're a boater, Dato offers a little slice of heaven. Here on site, we do have a full service marina as well, the Dato Island Marina. We're just about a 10 to 15 minute ride to historic downtown Beaufort. And the other direction, 15 minutes, will take you to one of the most beautiful natural beaches you could ask for, Hunting Island State Park. There's even a launch dock for your kayak, and that makes it easy to catch a sunset. Within the clubhouse at Dataw, members can choose from casual dining at the Dataw Island Pub to fine dining at the Tide's Edge Grill. Dataw Island Club, it's where the history and beauty of the Low Country come together for an extraordinary living experience. The whole surrounding area is just full of opportunities, both for social and sport, as well as volunteer opportunities, which is something a lot of our members really embrace and take advantage of here. The ongoing theme at our Course of the Week, the Arthur Hills Design Morgan River Course at Dato Island, is finding the right spot off the tee in the fairway. Here at number 13, it's the perfect example. Finding the short grass off the tee is one thing. Finding the right spot in the fairway makes all the difference in the world. 13 is not a long par four, but you have to avoid the right side of this hole. Hole number 13 is a very unique golf hole that dog legs to the right. And while most golfers would think they could take on the dog leg to shorten up the hole, you can't because of the stands of oaks down the right-hand side. They come into play more than what it looks like on the tee, so you have to favor that left side. Unfortunately, there is out of bounds on that left side, but the more you get to the left, the more you can see the green coming in. And on your approach shot here at number 13, you want to take aim for the left-hand side of the green, leaving you with an uphill putt. If the pin's in the back, you can hit it to the middle. If the pin's up front, you want to kind of hit it to the front side and make sure that you have a, a decent putt going at the hole. The par 4 13th on the Morgan River course at Dataw Island. A tough hole of golf that requires two precise shots to get on the dance floor. Well, par is a good score off of that hole. It requires such a precise tee shot. If there's one golf hole on the Morgan River course where wind plays a factor, it's right here at hole number 14. It runs from east to west and parallels the river. On certain days, it can play downwind and other days against the wind. Add in the length and you're looking at a very challenging hole of golf.
14 straight away. Um, we added a bunker in the middle of the fairway uh, from off the tee. Uh, it comes into play, but we have plenty of fairway on each side. It may not be the widest fairway on the layout. Still, there's plenty of room off the tee should you miss hit it. And because this golf hole plays parallel to the river, the wind does play a factor. It's going to be downwind or into the wind. If it's, if it's downwind, it's a much easier golf hole. If it's into the wind, the bunker comes more into play. The green complex is very difficult to, to hold this green. This is one of the bigger greens that we have here at Dalton. Um, there's a, a few collection areas on this green. Um, hardest hole location on this green is all the way in the back side. And if you, if you miss it long, you're short-sighted and you're, you're, there's no way of stopping that golf ball. Hole number 14, a tough par four on the Morgan River course here at Dato Island. Just a little over 300 yards, you think this is a scoring hole, but this is a good hole to get par and move on to number 15. And that's going to do it for this week's show. We do want to give a special thanks to Chris Fern, Laura McCarthy, and the entire staff here at Dato Island, a very special place in the low country of South Carolina. I'm Alan Hunter for all of us here at Golf America. Hit them long and straight, and we'll see you next time.